I really hate that I love this place. It's a really bad place to love. It's on here because of convenience. It is so convenient and it's so cheap and it's the cheapness and the convenience is just... Hello, my name is Megan Ruth. I'm a Canadian living in London, England and welcome back to my basement. Today, I thought I'd go over my favorite British chains because uh, why not? Why, why not? Why not? There are some food places and shopping places that I like to go to in the UK that Canada doesn't have and um, let's just get started because nobody likes too long intros, right? Let, let, let's go. <laughs> so the first one is Greg's. Now, I feel like this is a favorite for many people, both British and not British, because Greg's is just Greg's. Greg's is Greg's. Now, I was first introduced to Greg's when they first came out with their vegan sausage rolls, and um, <laughs> I'm a vegan, so um, obviously I had to try it. Like a dog to a bone, I had to try the Greg's vegan sausage rolls, and you know what? I was hooked. Hooked, hooked, hooked. And since then, they've come out with some other vegan things as well. I can't remember them off the top of my head, but they're okay. Not not as good as the vegan sausage rolls. I, I must say the vegan sausage rolls are the best. Greg's is just really good for having a cheap meal. If you're in a rush, if you don't want to spend too much money on breakfast, it's good to just have a cheap meal on the go. And this is why I love Greg's. Because Greg's, it's only like a pound. Oh, it used to be a pound, but now it's like a pound. 25 or 50, I can't remember. But anyway, it used to be a pound. It's just so good and uh, horrible for you, obviously. Like, so not healthy for you, but uh, Greg's is just... Uh, the next one on my list is Pizza Express. I like me a good Pizza Express because they have a whole vegan menu and it's just amazing. Like, I love places that have whole vegan menus. And I love pizza and I love Pizza Express and I love pizza and I love vegan pizza. And <laughs> Um, it's not the best vegan pizza in the world, I will admit to that, but it's a good default if you want to go somewhere out for dinner with people that aren't vegan or, you know, if you just want to go out for dinner and uh, you don't want to think too much about it. If you're just like, yeah, I want to go out for dinner and you just, you don't want to think too much about it and there's a Pizza Express because there's Pizza Expresses everywhere. You can be like, yeah, Pizza Express and, you know, you're, you're golden. Pizza Express is a, is a great chain and thank you. UK for having it. <laughs> the next one is another restaurant. Now I'm just doing restaurants now because, uh, or restaurants, it's not even a restaurant, it's like a fast food place, whatever. A uh, takeaway spot or whatever. I'm just doing all the ones to do with food first because um, I just like food and food is great and everyone loves food and food, food, food. The next one is Leon. I love Leon. And I was first introduced to Leon as like a coffee spot to get coffee, but then I tried some other salad bowls or rice bowls or quinoa bowls. I don't even know. They're, they're bowls, the bowls, the bowls. They have bowls bowls, which are relatively cheap and they're really good for healthy cheap. Like this is healthy stuff and it's cheap and they have a wide vegan selection. They had these mac and cheese bites for the longest time, which were so good. And I'm so glad that they took them off the menu, but their love burger is really good too. If you haven't tried their love burger, try their love burger. Cause that's, um, mwah. the next one is Pret. Now I want to specify this by saying the best one, the, the, the best, best, best one is veggie Pret. And now they've closed a few locations and I'm really gutted about it because Veggie Pret was just amazing. It is amazing. There's not as many Veggie Prets as there used to be. So um, that's a shame. But I just really like Pret as well. I think their coffee is quite good out of all the uh, coffee chains because, you know, there's Costa, there's Cafe De Niro, Starbucks. Ugh don't like Starbucks. I mean, I like Starbucks. It's just, it's too of a price for what it is. And also we have Starbucks in Canada and the States. And I think Starbucks is everywhere, everywhere in the world. There is a Starbucks, I am pretty sure. But out of the, all the coffee chains, I do think Pret might be my favorite. The next one is a supermarket. And I have mentioned this before on my channel, but I'm going to go for Iceland here. So Iceland is amazing. I love frozen vegetables. I find them so much more nutritious and so much more affordable. And you know, you get more bang for your buck with frozen veggies. And obviously when you go to Iceland, it's mostly frozen stuff. So you get like a ton of frozen veggies and fruit as well. And they're frozen at their ripest too. So they're like literally at peak health. You know, if you want to save money and eat healthy, go to Iceland and get frozen veggies because, um, yeah, it's cheaper and it's healthy and yay. Whoa. But also their vegan selection is so good. This video should be titled my favorite British chains as a vegan. <laughs> 
Iceland is great. It's definitely my favorite supermarket. Well, it's not my favorite. Yeah, it's my favorite supermarket, I have to say. If I go to Iceland, I'm going to be spending too much money. I'll just, I'll just say that. Okay, so we are officially out of the food department. We are out of food. This is not a food video anymore. The food portion of the video has passed. I'm going to WH Smith now. And I like WH Smith because it's that shop it's that store that has everything like you're wondering where to get i don't know um birthday candles and you're like oh probably wh smith has that right like it's just one of those stores that it just has everything odds and ends if you need something and you don't know where to find it it will most likely be at wh smith and i feel like that's the store that everything is at like every odd thing that doesn't really have necessarily a niche but you know those stores right where you're just like where do i find that and it's like the most random thing that you need and it will probably be at wh smith the most random shit like just cultivated in one store so the last one that i have for you all today is actually one that i really don't like that I love. I really hate that I love this place. It's a really bad place to love. It's on here because of convenience. It is so convenient and it's so cheap and it's the cheapness and the convenience is just, ah. To the people that hate fast fashion, I mean, I hate fast fashion. I, to, I, I really, this is why I hate it. I, I'm, Primark, okay, it's fi Primark, fine, Primark, Primark. Ugh, 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 I hate that I said that. Ugh. As a moral person, I really don't like Primark because I don't like fast fashion. I don't like cheap clothes. I don't like just cheap, like Walmart style shit. I really don't like that kind of thing, but I like Primark because it's cheap, but it's like, it's not terrible. Like the clothes are actually kind of decent. And it's just so convenient. Like if you need something cheap, if you're in a bind, if you need something cheap, if you don't have a lot of time on your hands and you, you just are like in a bind and you need something, but you don't want to spend a lot of money, you just go to Primark. You just go to Primark. I mean, you can go to a charity shop too. Charity shops are good. Go to a charity shop first, but if there's no charity shop, go to Primark. I hate that I love Primark. It's really annoying. No, okay. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, what are your thoughts? What are your favorite British chains? Uh, what do you think of any of the chains that I just said? I don't know. Okay, bye guys. Thanks for watching. See you next time.